Super simple malicious compliance used on my English teacher. This is years and years ago when I was in my last year of high school. I was a bit of a nerdy kid but not in the slightest bit shy and able to stand up for myself. We were on a school trip and a couple of the bigger lads in the back of the bus decided that I would be a victim for some insults and getting picked on. Various low-brow insults were used heading my way. I had a name that was both a boy's name and girl's name which created much mirth for the troglodytes from occasion. Earlier in the week in English we learned a few terms to use in analysis for our essays. Words like juxtaposition, alliteration and oxymoron. Of course the lads picking on me didn't pay attention. So I used that to my advantage with the response, oh yeah. At least I'm not an oxymoron you pair of oxymorons. They didn't know what I mean and I managed to convince them it meant, a moronic ox, to my and a few. Other students delight. Now the English teacher was on that bus. And decided our carry-on had gone on too long and told us all to settle down. To which he turned. To me with a glint in his eye, oh behold I see a teaching moment, and ask me me, do you actually know what an oxymoron is? As it's definitely not a moronic ox. I said yep. It's when one word is next to another with an opposite meaning. Then he asked, okay. Give me an example. I replied, sure. An example of an oxymoron is intelligent English teacher. To which he said, hum touche, and wandered back yo his bus seat. He actually was a really great teacher. Another one is, military intelligence. You were on fire that day. Jumbo shrimp. So is rule number two no school stories no longer in effect? This is like the fifth school story in the past week. Ha ha. Okay. The word oxymoron reminded me of a news article from the way back. Late 1990s. Some kids broke into a veterinary hospital and raided the drug cabinet. They scored some pills. Super excited. They were oxys. They were going to make a ton of money selling them. Of course. Being stupid teens. They got caught pretty quick. The best part? The pills they stole weren't oxycontin. The opiates. The were oxytocin. Used to kickstart labor and promote lactation for pregnant dogs. So of course a clever journalist called them the oxymorons. This could have gotten pretty ugly. This reminds me of an assignment I had on the topic in grade 8. We had to illustrate an oxymoron. So I drew a Vulcan youth. Because the one I chose was, teenage logic, tears of joy. Jumbo shrimp. To toss in a few classics beyond jumbo shrimp, country music military intelligence. Plastic silverware. Did chat GPT write this? WTF. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.